Former FBI Director James Comey has finally revealed his side of the story regarding President Trump's suspected interference in the FBI probe into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. With more on this and other news from around the world, we turn to Noah Adam. So, Adam, Comey released this opening statement a day before Thursday's highly anticipated Senate hearing. That's right, Mark. You could call Comey's seven-page statement, which was posted on the Senate Intelligence Committee's website, as the trailer to a blockbuster movie, albeit with a lot of spoilers. It sheds light on intriguing conversations between the former FBI chief and President Trump. Comey states that President Trump tried to get him to water down the FBI probe into alleged Russian meddling in last year's presidential election. This includes whether any Trump campaign officials colluded with the alleged Kremlin plot, as well as suspected ties between Moscow and now-fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Comey said he found it very concerning that the president had asked him to drop the probe into Flynn, and so wrote an unofficial note right after their meeting in February to discuss the matter with the FBI leadership, as he got the feeling Trump was trying to influence the investigation. But Mr. Trump's outside attorney, Mark Kasowitz, said the president felt completely and totally vindicated about Comey confirming he was not under investigation in the Russia inquiry. Mr. Comey also said the president had demanded for his loyalty at a dinner in January and for him to lift the cloud of the Russia probe. Comey added that the president asked him whether he wanted to stay on as FBI director, which he thought was strange since Trump had told him in earlier conversations that he wanted Comey to stay. Meanwhile, President Trump ended a month-long search for Comey's replacement by selecting Christopher Wray, who will need a Senate confirmation. He is Comey's former Justice Department colleague during the George W. Bush administration and both worked on the government's case in the Enron fraud scandal in the early to mid-2000s.